Hi, so uh, my name's Dale Luce. I'm a youth worker for Cardiff Youth Service. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll be speaking to a lot of different organisations to give you advice and support about some issues maybe affecting you. And today we have a colleague of Cardinvale College. So if we can just get your name, who you work for and how long you work for, please. Yeah, hi Dale, my name's Joe Tanner. I work for Cardiff and Vale College as a student recruitment officer, um, which means I work with all different kinds of people interested in coming to college. Um, so in schools, youth groups, adults, etc. And I've worked for the college for almost 25 years. Oh my God, 25 years! <laughs> no, long time. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, Kat, so what kind of stuff have you been doing over lockdown to keep yourself busy? We're all working remotely from home, um, so all, all colleagues in college um, are, are still teaching and progressing learners. I'm still engaging with schools and careers advisors and guys like yourself in the youth service to try and make sure we're here to support people interested in college. But I've also been in my garden, mm. doing gardening and far too much baking, Dale. <laughs> um, so I'm putting a bit of weight on at the moment. So <laughs> So is gardening a new skill or is there something? No, we're lucky that we've got a garden, so we've got that outside space. But I think it just benefits everybody being in fresh yeah. air, especially we've been really lucky with the weather, haven't we? Yeah. And how are you finding getting more involved in the digital world? Uh, anybody who knows me <laughs> uh, knows it's a little bit of a challenge, but I've surprised myself. So we're doing lots of work on Teams. Um, yeah. and doing little videos and things like this as well with colleagues amazing. so it's really good yeah amazing so the reason we kind of done this video was as we said in the start to help and support young people across Cardiff so one question um, will young people be able to start the courses they applied for in September yeah so we've been taking applications um, for September start since our open evening last November okay so People have been applying since then and we've been doing interviews with learners as well. So, and they are continuing, um, albeit in a, a digital format, okay? Um, lots of interviews have been done by telephone. People are being contacted and interviewed by tutors and things like that. So that, that process is continuing. Okay, great. Um, and can young people still apply for college? Is it too late or? No, 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 it's not too late and we don't have a cutoff point either. OK, so we will take applications right the way through the year. It's really important, I think, picking up on the last point just to remind young people and, and anybody who's applied really to keep checking their emails. OK, so on that initial online application that you did, you will have input an email address. That's how the college will talk to you. Yeah. OK, so it's really important that young people keep checking. And sometimes does it sometimes go in junk mail? So is it worth checking that as well? Essentially, yeah, it's always worth checking the spam file. Yeah. Yeah. OK. And what we can do, we can add the links to the college and how to apply for courses below on the video uh, when it's posted. Um, so um, how will how will young people's GCSEs affect the course they've applied for? Because they're going to be based on predicted grades and work maybe them in year 10 rather than in year 11. Yeah, so we understand at the moment that it's possibly a confusing time for young, some young people. So they were in school, they were working towards their GCSEs and then all of a sudden things have changed and that's not happening. So it's really even more important that anybody applying adds their predicted grades onto their application form because that is what the offer will be based on. So all of our courses have different entry requirements. Yeah. So as I say, it's super important that those are included on there. I think it's also important to remember that we're all different. So not everybody is going to get the same grades for the same subjects. And as a college, we offer courses for all different learning abilities. So I want to reassure people that please don't worry, OK, there is a course at Cardiff and Bale College for you. All right. Don't think that you can't come and study with us if that's what you want to do. Great. 
And how will young people find out about kind of enrolling, which usually happens around GCSE Results Day, and how will that take place this year? So again, we want to try and reassure people that colleagues across college are talking and working on this at the moment. Now, enrolment, understandably, is going to look a little bit different this year and will probably all happen digitally online. OK, so they are still working out the finer details of all that. Yeah. But again, once young people have had the offer of a place on a course, keep an eye on your emails, OK, but also keep an eye on social media platforms as well. You can go on to Facebook and Twitter, Snapchat and things like that, but also the main college website. OK, there's huge amounts of information on there. That's kind of our go to page, if you like, for updating quick bits of information. So just keep on, an eye on all the different channels that we've got. Awesome. Um, and when will young people find out by their start date? So once they've enrolled, yeah. they will then be given a start date for their course. Typically, that Great. will be early September. But yeah. obviously, the situation we're in at the moment, you know, as I say, just keep an eye on social mm. media and website information. And as you say, maybe learners may be starting a course digitally rather than Potentially. physically coming into college. Yeah, yeah possibly. Yeah. 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 Um, and can young people get support with college fees they might need for their course and enrolment fees? Yeah, so everybody, so full time course. So that's for anybody um, who's studying over 16 hours a week and who is 16 to 19 years old. Everybody on those courses pays a £30 registration fee. OK, but for some courses, things like engineering, auto construction, Learners will need overalls and steel toe cap boots for the hospitality and catering courses. Our learners wear chef's whites when they're in the kitchens. And if you're going to study something like hair and beauty, then you'll need the, the tunic and the, the, you know, the uniform that goes with that. So some students may be eligible for financial support for these things. And again, I'm going to direct you to the website. There's a whole pages and pages of information here where learners can find out more about the different little pots mm. of money and the funds available that they may be eligible to apply for. So have a look on the web. And if people are finding it hard to navigate around the website and would prefer a phone conversation to maybe access that support, is that possible? Absolutely, yeah. So as I say, all our colleagues are still working, although yeah. we're working from home. If you ring the main college switchboard, all right, so 029 you can still ask to be put through to a customer service advisor in our student services team. OK, or if you're in school, if you're working with a support worker, a youth worker, they've all got my email. OK, so you can get in touch with me directly and I will support you um, in any way that I can. I thought you were going to start singing the number then, Joe. Oh, two nine two oh two five oh two five oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, next question. Can young uh, people access support uh, for their mental health or kind of if their emotional needs in college? Because a lot of young people would have had that support in school. There's a new environment, a new place. How would they go about accessing? That? Yeah, so we've got there's a huge range of support available at the college. Again, all of this is online, but we've got the ALN hubs. OK, so the additional uh, learning needs hubs. This is a drop in support space for learners who've got ALN needs, disabilities or issues with anxiety and things like that. They can drop into that facility. Um, it's a space where they can feel safe okay, and have information and advice from the, the specialist staff in those centres. And then we've got the wellbeing hubs. Now, these are on all of our campuses and again, this is a quiet, safe space. So if a learner just needs time out, they need that environment where they need to open up about something um, in particular that's bothering them or again be signposted to other support services then please yeah those support sounds great. services are there yeah that sounds great maybe we could potentially post some links or videos because i know there's a visual um, a virtual college so there's a 24 7 virtual yeah. uh, open event open day coming over the next few weeks so um young people, anybody interested in college, practitioners, support workers will be able to go on to the website and access a whole bank 
uh, videos like this one, yeah. um, which will give you information about subject areas, but also some of the support areas that we offer as well. So yeah, we're all really excited about that. Can't wait. It's really worth keeping an eye out for that then by the sounds of it. It sounds Absolutely. really exciting. Um, and last question. Um, so if young people have applied for college and they're kind of looking at stuff to do to prepare, to best prepare them to start in September, is there any advice you, uh, you, would, give, you would give to them? My advice would be, um, make sure your application for college is on track okay so make sure you apply make sure you have your interview and you know that you have your offer of a place at college okay yep. keep an eye on the website again and the me the social media channels this is where all the latest developments because things given the circumstances we're in at the moment things are happening and changing quite quickly and we need to make sure that we can get our information quickly and those are the channels that we will use. OK, other than that, if you're applying for, say, uh, an A-level course at the college, go online to the website. You can look at every individual A-level subject that we have. You can see the modules and units and the curriculum that you will study during your course. OK, access websites like the Careers Wales website. OK, if you're starting to think about maybe A-levels or a level three vocational course, you need then to potentially start thinking about your steps after that. So are you looking at university? Are you thinking of an apprenticeship? Are you looking at other forms of training? Maybe looking straight to going into the world of work. So there's lots of research that young people mm, can be doing. That's a great that. idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that, Joe. That's been really informative. Um, and this will be going on our social media platforms. And hopefully we can do more of these if is needed. Um, but yeah, thank, thank you very much. No problem at all, Dale. Take care now. <laughs> Cheers.